previously on Two Past Midnight. Anderson, Anderson, you okay? Where's LT? Uh, I think the next house. <laughs> LT's gone, man. LT's gone. He, uh, uh... What are you talking about? What do you mean he's gone? There was a grenade. He... He took all of it. We gotta go, man. We're outnumbered here and we don't have a tank. We gotta go. In the background, you hear a whistle. You hear... So you guys run to the tree line. You guys all kind of like find places to hide. So Butler, you're peeking out from around this tree. You see about 20 Soviet soldiers. At the count of three, on me. So, we begin with Emmett, Keanu, and Anderson standing up, taking off into the trees, and they're spotted by the Soviets. And we are not trying to be stealthy, or we are just double time, full speed, trying to get out of here. Yep, yep, yep. All right. When you get up and you start to run, you hear pat, 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 and like bullets are hitting off the trees, hitting off the fucking dirt. And they start picking up speed. What are you guys going to do? Keep running or what? Yeah, keep running. Yeah, I'm Butler's in the lead just double time like Forrest Gump running in Vietnam. Telling these two to stay on my ass. We're going to do a mini game because those are always fun. We're going to do opposed stamina checks. Who has the lowest stamina? Of Just group. a B. Keanu has A and a D. Oof. Butler. C and a nothing. All right. Looks like it's a butler. So you're in the front? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to outrun the bear. Just outrun you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he grew up in Detroit. He's a city kid. Yep, yep. Um, okay. Well, this explains why he got caught. <laughs> Actually, I think it should be mobility. That would be better. I'm still at a B and a D, so... Just a B. A and a D for Butler. Well, it's going to be who has the lowest of it. So I'm going to give you guys the choice. You can either go for a stamina roll to just straight up outrun them, and it's going to be whoever has the lowest stamina roll, or you can do two rolls, whoever has the lowest um, mobility and then the lowest recon. So are you straight up just straight running or, or are you trying to like fox weave back and forth and like lose them? No, we, we're trying to lose them going full speed. Okay, so, so we're doing a stamina roll. Yeah, you could say like weave in between trees. But the, no, no, this is what I'm saying. You have two options. One, it's a stamina roll to just like straight up outrun them and they don't catch you or you try to mobility bob and weave and then recon so if you do mobility there's a recon roll after it or you do a stamina roll and that's it whoever our lowest mobility is that who makes the recon roll as well no it's whoever has the lowest recon oh well then we're doomed so it would be for I'm the probably the lowest recon because I'm nothing in a D as far as intelligence goes. So you're getting one D6 for the recon at the end of that. So I mm. would say our best bet would be just straight stamina because even at our lowest guy, it's still a better chance than just a straight D at the end. <laughs> yeah, because it's a straight C for Butler. All right. So who has the lowest stamina? I think it's Butler. He's just got a... Uh, C and strength and that's it okay so the way we're going to play it is this every time you don't get a success over them they get a shot at you like literally they're going to take a shot at one of you does our does our the amount of uh, damage and stress carry over from the diner battle no you would have healed by then okay so we're back to good yep do we need to do anything for LT dying stress wise mm. Maybe just Keanu, because he was there for it. And that was his buddy. 
Colin was under fire. Who else's buddy was he? <laughs> yeah, but you saw it. You were there. <laughs> yeah, that's true, too. Colin was under fire, Keanu. No successes. All right, so you at least have one point of stress. That makes sense. <laughs> there we go. You watched him dive on a fucking grenade. All right, so opposed stamina roll. Their guy versus your guy. If I win, they take a shot. Fair enough. Oh. You got this, Butler. Come on. Come on, Butler. So every success you get means not a shot. Six, you. seven, or eight. Six, seven, or eight. How Six, many of these do we eight. need to get to get away? Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Four. Do you want to push that roll? Yes. Okay. Ugh. Another four. All right. So they're going to take a shot. I'm in the back, I'd imagine. Uh, no, it's probably going to be the person with the lowest stamina. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been shot before. No problem. I'm going to roll for who they're shooting at anyway. So oh, okay. one, two, Brian, three, four, Kyle, five, six, uh, Chris. You know what? You guys roll, actually. One of you guys roll. Got it. One. <laughs> <laughs> it's Keanu. Coming to Keanu. <laughs> Ironically. No, wait. Watch Keanu die right here at the beginning of this whole thing. <laughs> Welcome back to the tank crew. Keanu is dead now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so rounds go, and they're like hitting at Keanu's feet, but they miss him and ping off a tree. Stamina roll. Come on, baby. Six, seven, or eight. Six, seven, or eight. Come on. God darn it. What is going on? Three. <laughs> and we, it's Chris. It's Chris rolling. That's what's going on. <laughs> Fair. Push it. I mean, no. I mean, meta. Oh, I need to take a point of stress for pushing. No, no you didn't fail, didn't fail it. No. You got only it's only on a one. one. That's right. And even then, it's a physical roll, not a mental one. Oh, so you so roll an be, ankle. If if you roll a one, it's a point of damage. Okay. On on a pushed roll. All right. Well, we're gonna push this one too. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's baby, that's one. That's one. That's what's up. <laughs> that that bullet getting shot at us definitely gave some little pep in the step. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you guys describe what the success looked like. So you tell me. Well, I mean, as the bullets are, are hitting close to me and I'm hearing it bounce off trees and whatnot, I mean, the adrenaline's kicking in. I'm still just buzzing from the, the dirt and the mud that's all over me. You see that flinging off of me and then the, the excess dirt from uh, Lieutenant Kim jumping on a grenade and that just spraying all over me also. I mean, bullets are... Making the noises, banging off of trees, pinging off of the ground. It's time to go. So Keanu's just trying to dig a little deeper as we're going here. Anderson is running, and he is a very... Everything he does is stiff. Like, he's not loose at all. Nothing he does is, you know, necessarily athletic. It's just, you know, strafing forward. And he's got his gun essentially kind of almost above his head. He's he's holding, you know, one hand right behind the trigger on the buttstock and the other hand on the other, and he's just trying to dodge trees as he runs with it kind of over his head. He just, with everything he has to try to get out, but there is, you know, nothing graceful about it. Butler's out of shape. Um, he's a mechanic and a driver. <laughs> he hasn't, hasn't done physical stuff in quite some time, but He's running as hard as he can. He's got his M16 in one one hand with his finger on the trigger guard, you know, like straight up. And just running and weaving between trees and trying not to get out of breath. He's not fat or anything. He's just not in combat shape. <laughs> He's a pogue, as we called him. <laughs> and he... Just, just trying to run and keep all of us alive. Yeah. In the background, you can hear the Russian voices, you know, saying something in Russian, but then you speak fucking Russian. You hear, you know, them yelling something out. One more roll. Yeah, Butler. Yeah, Tony. <laughs> yeah, yes. boy. Got an eight. <laughs> oh, they got a one. <laughs> I rolled so they, one. Do, do they all like trip and fall? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they don't push rolls, but yeah, no. So you guys end up fucking losing them in the trees. Like you can hear them as you guys are running off. And I could, and I said that you could hear the whistle going and like the yelling, like it's just, it's getting further and further back as you're going. 
and taken off running. And um, you guys are in the clear. What do you want to do? So we probably get to a point where we think we're kind of safe and we kind of stop. And uh, I will probably immediately vomit. Just, just... Uh, I, I don't think I can keep running since much, much longer. We're headed in the evening, by the way. So I actually need someone to roll um, a d6. Hold on, Adam, real quick. Anderson, you need to suck it up. We're trying to survive here. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm with you. I, I don't. I, I don't. I don't want to die here. Absolutely, but I, you know, I can't kill twenty men, and I can't run fast enough to get away from twenty men, and I can't. We don't have a commander. There's nobody in charge, and we don't have a tank. And I don't understand what. I don't understand. What are we doing here, Lieutenant Kim's dead, man? You know what I mean like cut him some slack? Look, guys, we need to we need to survive. We need to get get out of here. Put some distance between them and us, and then we'll figure out what the hell we need to do next. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other, and let's get the hell out of here. Oh, by the way, it starts raining. <laughs> Sweet, actually. Cuts down visibility. Well, it should help them not want to keep tracking us if that's the case. A lot of guys give up once it starts pouring down rain as far as trying to track people. I take my AK and kind of sling it over my back a little bit and I can just kind of wipe my mouth off, catch a little bit of breath and say uh, alright Butler just where are we going? Alright let's pull our resources first. What do we got? Take stock of what you have. Two rations, four waters, a helmet, one med kit, and some pain relief gel. What about magazines? Uh, four reloads for an M9 and three le- reloads for an AKM. No, two reloads, sorry. Three food, four water, a med kit, and three reloads for... My M16. Unless we scavenge anything else at the diner, but we, we skipped that part. <laughs> I'm assuming I got an AKM from one of them. Yeah, definitely. Adam, I'm going to assume that I left the vehicle tools in the tank when we blew it up, because there's no point to have them. It's up to you. Yeah. Ah, they're in the backpack, though. Probably just grabbed this backpack. Yeah. Okay, so three food, three water, med kit, and vehicle tools, basic tools, and three reloads for the M16. Okay, so we got we got enough to survive for, for some time. I think we just need to keep moving and avoid people at all costs. But like, keep moving to where, man? Lieutenant Kim said he was getting us out of here. Yeah, you guys know that he was getting you to Bremerhaven, was where he was headed. Which is in fucking Germany. Mm Mm-hmm. So, like, what do we do, man? Which way is Germany? West. Mm Mm-hmm. We just keep moving. Put one foot in front of the other, guys. Come on. Maybe we'll come across a house. Maybe we'll come across some shelter. Just, we just got to keep moving. I trust, I I mean, I trust you. So get us out of this, man. I don't, I don't know what else there is. Please, just please figure a way out. Can't figure a way out. We just got to keep going survive. That's the way out. 
So you guys were headed northwest or northeast out of the hex. So you want to head that way first and then go in a direction? Once we get our bearings and get situated, we just want to go due west. Okay, hold on. Bloop. No metagaming, guys. <laughs> we want to go right towards the Monopoly house. <laughs> oh, shit, forgot to take that off. We just want to get to Germany at this point. We don't know where the fuck we're going. <laughs> Sprechen Deutsch. All right, so we did. We went northeast to that one. Mm-hmm. So we'd probably go until we found the road, or would we avoid the road? That's on you guys. You tell me whether you're going to stay off road, on road, what you're doing. If you're going off the road, you're going to have to roll survival. Mm-hmm. For navigation. Shit. Uh, I would think as a. As a tank crew, we would probably, once we hit the road, try and follow the road. Mm-hmm. I don't know if we actually have an active map or not, but that would be our best. I would think we would have a map in a tank. Yeah, but who had it? Probably Lieutenant Kim. Well, probably, yeah. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> Kick that thing right in the river. That's, that's weird how that happened. <laughs> he he had it in the front pocket of his uh, of his flak, like in his gear right here, so he could easily pull it out, you know. And that was like what went right on top of the grenade. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when he blew up, the map landed directly in my hands. <laughs> I was running away. <laughs> It was like one of those fumbles where it like goes like 20 <laughs> yards this way. And you're like, <laughs> well, that's convenient. <laughs> well, let me roll up. Uh, nope. Didn't happen. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would like to choose a challenge coin to make that have happened. Hold on. Hold on. Nope. Still didn't happen. I rolled a, I rolled a one. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm saying we went east until we hit this road and... Mm. I'm guessing my character, I, Anderson, would go. Oh, okay, look, there's a road here. Let's. I mean, where there's a road, there's got to be a, a house or a building or somewhere we can get out of the rain and, and collect ourselves and figure out what we're going to do next. So, why don't we follow the road and hopefully find something? I just find something for the night. I agree. We should follow the road, but not on the road. Okay. Then off the road? Yeah, just a little bit away from the road so that we're not conspicuous. Okay. Who's got the best recon in the group, by the way? Just so I know. DNSC. A and a nothing. D and a nothing. <laughs> Somebody pull out the percentage chart. Uh, D and a C is a 90%. And an A and a nothing is 82. So D and a C it is for keeping watch for the highest one. Pluses or minuses? Nope. Just flat roll. A two and a two. Okay. Nothing. Okay, so you guys were going to hit the road or and then go off the road, like run parallel to it basically, and go like north uh west essentially, so you can go around Radham. Is that was that the accurate assessment of what you were doing? Yeah. That I yeah. think that's our general plan. Okay. Alright, describe to me what this looks like then as you're going along. The sun's starting to go down too, so make it dramatic and you know, twilight. <laughs> So we're off to the side of the road, kind of probably about 10 feet into the woods or the wood line or anything we can have. Or if there's if there's a little bit of wood, we try to tuck into it. If there's some tall grass, we try to go behind it. I wouldn't call us necessarily stealthy at all, do it, because we are still going fairly quick. So our, our movements are a little erratic and a little fast, not necessarily stealthy, but we're just trying to get through, follow the road. I know 
Anderson's eyes are just darting back and forth and just looking. He doesn't know what he's looking for, but he's just looking everywhere. Uh, Keanu is probably kind of trailing the rear uh, as the rain keeps kind of coming down. Uh, as it builds up, he's he's trying to wipe the dirt off his face and off of himself from the 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 mud and the dirt from the explosion and uh, as he's kind of trailing back you can't you can't tell because of how much it's raining and the water on him you can't see that the the tears are rolling down his face uh, kind of grieving the loss of Lieutenant Kim Butler's walking along and keeping an eye towards the road just you know every once in a while glancing at the road to make sure that there's no foot traffic or anything like that or any sign of danger and in his head he's like we are so fucked we are so fucked but we just gotta keep moving hopefully stay alive and he's trying to keep these guys um, positive so every once in a while Come on, guys. We just got to keep moving. We'll be okay. Just got to keep moving. We'll be okay. We'll just avoid anything we come across and and try to try to stay alive. We got enough rations for a couple days. We may have to forage. We may have to find something, but let's just keep moving. Stay positive. We'll be okay. And you hear uh, Anderson muttering under it, staying alive, staying alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Yeah, and you guys are only able to see because of the rain, like about 20 meters anyway. So um, you guys are walking along and it's just fucking mud, right? And it's starting to get dark and um, you're, you're walking along and you start to go up this little bit of a hill and then you're walking down and you go a little ways in and you can see that there's a pond in the middle of it. Like you can just see this the water like hitting in this like pond. How far or how long has it been since our encounter with the troops? Uh twenty kilometers at this point. Cause you went northeast and then northwest. Then we're heading out of evening into nighttime. All right, guys, we need to take a break. Let's try to fill our canteens, maybe wash off a little bit. You guys, may, maybe even rest here for a little. What do you guys think? Yeah, I could use some rest. I, you know, I'm, I'm all for taking a taking a break. Keanu. Yeah, 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 man. Whatever you say. Let's try to get cleaned up. Fill up your canteens. Drink first. Pound some water. Pound some water. Fill up your canteens. Let's take a little break. Maybe stay for the night, but at least let, let's just sit down and come up with a game plan. I head down to the edge of the water and just kind of sit there, find a spot with kind of just a, a larger than normal rock there and just fill my canteen and sit and just kind of stare off into space, not looking at anything, but looking through everything. Mm-hmm. Keanu, what are you doing? Uh, Keanu is getting the, the, the last bit of the the mud and stuff off of himself there at the edge of the bank. Uh, chugging down some water and filling up the canteens as he was told to do from the uh, other members of the party. Butler, what are you doing? He fills up his, he first chugs a whole canteen full of water. Fills up the canteen at the, in the pond or lake, whatever it is, body of water. And so it's a pond, a little pond at the bottom of this uh, little hill where you guys have just come down. And then either if there are, trees surrounding it or he puts his back to a tree or if there's a rock he sits on the rock nope nothing there wasn't any not really no it was just all fucking mud okay he's as as you bend down 
to start uh, filling up your canteen. Roll me a tech roll. Well, one success. Yep, one success. All right, so you start filling up your canteen, like you start reaching down, you're looking at the water, and it's kind of greenish because it's not really running in from anywhere. It's just collecting here. And it's got like this kind of greenish color to the water. And you kind of glance around a little bit more at the area you're in. You guys have been here for a few minutes. You start realizing that you're in a crater. And the fact that you could only see 20 meters in any direction kind of limited the distance that you could see of it. But it seems like you're in a pretty old crater. Does everybody notice this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Belay that. Belay that. Do not fill up your canteens or drink the water. Don't drink don't drink any water? Don't drink the water out of this pond. <laughs> Why not, dude? I mean, I've already been I've already been bathing in it. What's going on, dude? Look around you. Look around you. This isn't a pond. I mean, it, it is it is a pond. It's a pond of greenish water <laughs> in the bottom of a crater. It's a bomb crater. <laughs> oh, man. So you see, I just kind of turn my canteen over and just pour it out. <laughs> just kind of hang my head. Oh, bogus, man. If you filled up your canteen with in that, you might oh God, we might have to shit can the canteens too. So what's your guys' plan? Why not rest in a radioactive pond? Not listen to Butler any man. You know, <laughs> dude. <laughs> So you guys are going to stay here and rest here? No, I think we need to move on. All right, everybody give yourself one rad. All right, guys, we got to move on. We're obviously <laughs> potentially going to get radiation here. I don't feel so great. Yeah, it would take a bit before it kicks in. All right, so where do you guys want to go? Keep heading to northwest? Or what? I think we just go due west at this point. All right, so we're dealing with hexes. Your option is northwest or southwest. Oh, sorry, I had something covering the map. Yeah, northwest. I would, I, I would <laughs> think we would follow the... Yeah, you could either go north along the road... Yeah. yeah, I would say we'd follow the road, just keep going mm. north. Well, yeah, the road goes northwest. Well, the road goes north-north, or the other road on the other side goes... You'd have to go southwest and then northwest. Oh, from where you are. all right, I get what you're saying. Like, the angle of it is northwest, but that hex is north, so, okay, yeah. We're going to follow the road, yeah. Right, gotcha. Okay. All right. Now you're headed into night at this point. So it is now nighttime. Someone roll me. Oh, you know what? It was raining. It is now uh, cloudy. <laughs> it's that's now how raining that works. again. <laughs> now it automatically goes cloudy. Fortunately, it's not Seattle weather. All right, so recon roll. Is that me again? Ye, whoever you guys want. Yep, that's me again. That's up to you guys, ultimately, but I would recommend whoever has the highest one. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> two fives this time, so that's, I mean, I went from two twos to two fives, so I'm getting there. All right, so as you're going along, uh, you get like about 15 kilometers from where you just were, and um, you start approaching the the river. And you come around a curve, and there's, like, a grove of trees right there. Like, it starts getting a little bit thicker, trees on the uh, western side of the road. As you get closer to the river, and as you come around the bend a little bit, you come around the trees, 
and you can see the bridge that goes across and directly in the center of the bridge there's a jeep that's like on fire does anybody else see that yep hold up here anybody got binoculars not in this country I think LT had binoculars (laughs) of course he did (laughs) with his binoculars you probably saw that coming Mm -hmm. (laughs) if it's on fire that means it's been hit recently yeah and when I said you came around the bend it's not in the distance it's like you came around this grove of trees and like a little bit of a hill and it's like fucking 30 meters ahead of you you see this like bridge with a fucking burning jeep Russian jeep in the middle of it and you can see a person like crawling and that's the only person we see uh moving yep well I'm just uh, there's not like any people standing around the jeep or any other okay no, there's a, some other bodies on the ground. So I am a medic by trait. So I would kind of panic at the sight of that. But I, hey, it looks like somebody's still alive. We, we got to go help him. And I would just kind of start heading that way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Butler grabs him by the back of his fatigue. We got to help him. I mean, he's dying. Get back here. Something just hit that Jeep. You think you're just going to go out there and pull this guy out? Yeah. There there could be other people there. If we're just going to wait and let him die, what's the point? I don't get it. Let's just see what happens. You're going to make yourself a target. We just, we, we've just we been a target for about three days now. Let's take cover and see if anybody comes out to look at the Jeep. So we just just gonna watch a guy die so I kind of shake off because he's got a hold of me just just do your thing but I gotta check on him and I'm gonna head towards the bot to, towards the bridge okay uh Keanu would uh would take up his six yeah let's cover him Keanu all right so you get up there Anderson and uh, Keanu and Butler have their guns trained in the area and kind of watching the perimeter around you. And um, it's not like it's like a giant, you know, all in flames and shit. There's just like some fire, right? But the Jeep is like turned on its side. When I say Jeep, it's more like a UAZ 469, the Soviet Jeeps. And uh, it's like on its side. And you can tell that like it had been hit by some kind of explosion, like as you get closer. And you could see three other bodies around it that are not moving. And there was the one guy that was like crawling away from it. And you can hear him like mumbling in what you presume is probably Russian. And um, you see that as he's like pulling himself, you can see that as you get closer, that uh, his intestines are kind of out a little bit and, you know, eviscerated. So I'd get close, but I mean, I'm assuming I would know if he's too far gone pretty quickly on this one. Well, he's currently alive, and you could do a medicine check on him if you want to. I would like to do a medicine check on him. Okay. That's simply medical aid? Yep. One success. You're actually fairly sure that you could stabilize him. Okay, I will do that. Another medical aid? Mm Mm-hmm. I will push. And what'd you get? A success and a failure. All right, roll coolness under fire. So what's happening is I see this going on and I... Okay, so what is our unit morale now? Um... Anybody have command? Negative. Mm-mm. I'm, I'm going to say it's whatever it was, minus one for uh, Lieutenant Kim being dead. Okay, so I'll go from a C and a B to a C and a C. There you go. One success. Okay, so no stress. Shockingly, I have a D empathy. 
<laughs> I start to, you know, try to stabilize him. I do what I can. You know, obviously there's intestines and everything pull it out. And I start to, to, to do one thing to try to, you know, I'm, you know, essentially shoving this guy's guts back in him. And I start to do something and then I, I just freeze. Anderson just freezes for a moment and he just stops. You see him just kind of think and he takes just like he's done a few times today. He takes a shaky deep breath. And as you do, the Soviet soldier reaches up and grabs your hand and he says, please, please. You'll be, you're going to be okay. We're, I, I got, I can't do much right, but I'm going to be able to do this. And I go back and I try to patch him up as best I can. Okay. Looking at the Jeep, does it look like potentially they hit an IED? Yes, it looks like they hit a roadside bomb. But you also think, looking at it, that it's not completely demolished, right? Currently, it's inoperable, but you're looking at it and you're like, I could repair it. Like, the wheels are still intact. Like, the, the fire's really just from, like... The, the way that it hit, like the, the gas was leaking out, but it is no longer leaking out. You know what I mean? So it's not like making its way to the gas tank. It's just kind of like a little pool of gas was still burning. And like, you're like, I think I could actually repair this. That's what I'm good at. If it's got wheels or tracks, I can make it run. Hey, Keanu. Keanu. Yeah. I don't think that Jeep was hit by... Troops. I think it just hit a roadside bomb. IED. Like the ones we try to avoid in the tank. Okay. So that mean that means hopefully there's no troops around. They might come to investigate the explosion. But maybe maybe we can fix that Jeep. That can get us out of here. Uh -huh. Well, you, you, you'd be the man for the job, dude. I mean, uh, what do you want me to do? Try and get the fire out? And Keanu just keeps kind of keep pivoting back and forth, still scanning around, not really understanding that, you know, we're, we're not just waiting to get ambushed. So. Which one of you has the better recon between the two of you? It's got to be you. I've got an A intelligence. Yep. Okay. Roll it. One success. Okay. Let's get the fire out and get this thing off its side. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Probably need to patch the gas tank for... He's like talking out loud, thinking about what needs to be done. Let's get the fire out and then we'll, then we'll take a look at the Jeep. We might be able to fix this thing. That'll get us out of here a hell of a lot faster. As you're saying this, in the distance, you hear... You hear an engine sound. Fuck. And it's getting louder. It sounds like it's coming your way. Anderson, we need to drag that guy into the tree line. Or leave him. Under the bridge. Uh, he's barely stable. He's not... It's, this isn't something you'd move. I'm just getting him started. Yeah, technically you haven't been able to finish your medical aid to yeah. stabilize him yet. I'm not going anywhere. What do you guys think? Actually, we could count that medical aid for mechanics reasons as moving him without having to force him to roll a stamina roll. So that's in the rules too. But you would then have to roll another medical aid roll to actually stabilize him. We got to be quick. We got two two choices. We stay here and hope that they take pity on us for trying to keep their guy alive, or we hide. Keanu goes under the bridge. Come on, Anderson. I'll help you carry him. I don't. <sighs> or stabilize him and leave him. If you wouldn't say no, he's got to come with us. Still a lot of work to do on him. His comrades may take care of him. 
Anderson would begrudgingly begin to try to move him. Okay. All right, I'll get his legs. All right, so where are you guys going to drag him to? Are you going under the bridge with Keanu or somewhere else? Under the bridge. All right. Um, who has the lowest recon? Keanu? Uh, yeah. Because of terrain, I'm going to give you a plus two. Plus two. And it's a pushable roll. Uh, that's a nothing and a nothing. That's two threes. Pushable roll. We'll push it. Three and a two. Nothing and nothing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Keanu lights a flare as he tries to sneak up. <laughs> we be fucked. <laughs> So you guys hear a pickup truck pull up, pulls up beside the Jeep, and they start going through everything, right? They're, like, pulling whatever off the bodies, pulling stuff out of the Jeep. Um, there, there's some gear just kind of spread on the road that had been, like, knocked out from the explosion when it, it tipped over. They're, like, pulling stuff out. We cut over to, we see you guys underneath the bridge, and uh, you can hear the, the Soviet soldiers, uh, 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 and Anderson's trying to like shh, 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 keep it down, keep it down, you know you know, we see Butler just like kind of peeking around the bridge, just kind of glancing and we can see just past the like just the top of the, the these guys' heads and you don't see helmets on them, right? like they do not appear to be in uniform right? Um, they look like they're wearing civvies and they're speaking but they're not they apparently aren't speaking in uh, English or Russian. And we see Keanu on the other side of the bridge also, like, looking up. Just kind of, like, trying to be as small and invisible as possible. And all of a sudden, he gets like this. Well, you tell me. You tell me, Brian. Because you failed your recon roll. <laughs> um... Well, I mean, it would be uh, a, as they as they pull up, and he's not with the other uh, the other three. He would uh, really just, I think, overstretch his ability to s- stay hidden, as he would peek and continue to try and see what's going on, and not realize that he is become fully visible to the group as they're they're scavenging. You hear one of them say, hey, who's there? And they're like, they all pull their rifles up. You see they have AKs. Who's there? Whoa, 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 guys, 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 guys. Keanu would throw his hands up. Whoa, whoa, dude. Whoa, uh, uh, peace. We, peace, man. And there's eight of them, by the way. Who are you? We're Americans. Is this your Jeep? No, no, we're trying to help the we're trying to help one of the guys that was that was injured. He kind of looks at you. Help him. Anderson would say, he was dying, he's injured. Bring him out here. You can come down to me. I'm trying to patch him up. Bring him out here. I'll help you carry him. Come on. You better bring him out. You better bring him out. Why are we gonna keep moving people? Come on, Anderson. Uh, putting direct pressure on as much as I can, and you know. They say something to each other. The one looks over the other one says something in Polish. And looks at you and is like Step back. Looks like they, they hit an IED. We, we just came across them, and we were trying to save this dude. So two of them come walking up on this guy, and you see this, like, his eyes get real big. And they're like, step back. No problem, cowboy. So, I mean, Anderson's, he pulls his hands back, but he's still kneeling beside him. 
they get right up next to him and they now have an AK in your face and they're like back up stand up take two steps back the one that's that had been talking the whole time looks at you and says so you are Americans and you are helping this man I'm a medic it's what I do see that's what I'm talking about can't find out what's going on if he dies information's pretty much the only thing I can do I'm not going I can't shoot people from a long distance and you know we don't have a tank or anything anymore so pretty much patching people up is the only reason I'm here and you can see this fear in this Soviet's face as like the one guy was like that's been talking to you was like looking down at him and he says something to him in Russian and the guy says something back to him and he spits down on him he says then I recommend you walk away take that bridge continue to head west from what I hear most of your people are that way sir I don't mean to be uh, pre- uh, you know, asking for much here but uh any chance you, you'd let us stay here and uh, try to fix that jeep so we can take it? No. It is worth a shot. Are you Polish? Yes. I am a Pole. We're on the same side here, man. We're just trying to survive. Our tank ran out of gas. We got ambushed. We got ambushed by 20 Russian soldiers. We, 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 we're not infantry guys. We're just trying to get the hell out of here. I understand, and I'm pointing you in that direction. Cross bridge, head west. All right, thank you, sir. Anderson, leave him. But it seems stupid. He's still got his hands up, just kind of in front of him. Completely coated and covered in blood because he had it, and he just. He just kind of turns and starts walking across the bridge. He's still got his hands up in front of him, just back to. Keanu? Uh, Keanu is, is, is right with these guys. He's, he's kind of walking backwards, keeping his front to the, the rest of these guys as we cross the bridge, and just kind of quietly. To, to just them to where they could hear it like you you guys don't think they're actually going to kill that guy do you so you hear in English you hear that same Soviet soldier say, please please Anderson you glance over your shoulder and he's not looking at them he's looking at you and you see one of the other group like bring their rifle up and they start bam and then one at a time they're all just like butt stroking him Right, and not necessarily like efficiently, right? Like they're not straight at the head, like they're just beating him. As you're walking away, you can hear thump, 